which is the social networking platform we'll be using this semester in EUN 617 Managing and Organising Collections. The reason we have a social networking platform as part of this unit is because I base my teaching on principles of connected learning. And I believe that it's very important that we are able to develop a participatory culture where we can support each other as learners and provide assistance to each other, where we can ask questions, provide uh, feedback, where we can encourage each other as learners. And in order to do this, I find that this type of platform is much more effective than using a discussion board or a forum that can be used from the Blackboard app. So you may have used a social media network before in your Master of Education studies and quite possibly that was Google+. Google+, Plus was an excellent uh, application for this type of student community, a learning community, but unfortunately Google has retired this social media network. And I did consider using Facebook because this would provide a space for us to connect in and many of you already probably have Facebook accounts. However, I didn't want to assume that you all would have Facebook accounts. And something that a lot of people like to do is keep their personal and professional lives quite separate. And it's very difficult to do that on Facebook. So I thought that creating a new group in a new social media networking space might be the way to go in order to provide a private space where we can support each other um, that doesn't impinge on anything else that you might be doing in your many other areas of your lives. Now if you've got any questions or concerns about joining MeWe, please let me know straight away. Um, it's by no means compulsory that you're part of this uh, group, but um, I have done a bit of investigation into this platform and the reason that I really like it is that they have designed the app to create, uh, they seek their profit from other places other than user data. So most of the other free social network apps will take your data and once you submit it to the application, they own that data and they will sell that on to other people, other companies for um, whatever uses that they see fit. Uh, here, your um, your data remains your own and you retain ownership of that. They don't have ads, they don't record um, or store your data that you share and in that way they don't tailor the streams or the posts uh, or use algorithms to order the, um, the, the posts and how you see them. And so they use different uh, ways of raising money. What they do is they have this free version and then there are other modules that you can purchase uh, in order to expand your MeWe experience. Uh, we don't need to purchase those extra modules. We can make um, very good use of the free version. And so we get the best of both worlds because we get a free uh, social network application, but we aren't going to have ads or spyware uh, and we retain ownership of our data. So if you're interested in learning more about this, when you go to the front page of MeWe, you'll see that they have a privacy bill of rights and if you click on that, it will give you an overview of what they do and don't do with permissions and privacy and your data. So when you come to me, well, you may come to it on this page, or if you've clicked on the link um, that was in the announcement emails, uh, you will come to this page. This one here is actually quite a good link to follow because it will take you directly into our private group, which is Managing and Organising Collections. So you need to sign up to MeWe. You can um, do so just in the regular way that you create online accounts. Um, and of course, you can choose to use a pseudonym if you prefer. Uh, the privacy policy and terms of service are actually quite readable if you're interested in those. And once you sign up, it will take you, if you do it via this page, it will take you directly into the group page. So I'm already signed in and I'm going to go to our group space. So you can see here that this is um, this is the group space for managing and organising collections and I'm only opening this space up to students, to people who are currently enrolled in the unit and their teaching team. So that's myself and Fiona Harland. Um, I've also invited our guest speakers but they haven't signed up as yet. Uh, but it's a closed group 
and I'm checking the, uh, it's only a very small group of us studying this unit this semester, so it's quite easy to make sure that no one is from outside of the group when, um, the, when you're asking to enrol. So this is the group space, and before we get into posting to the group, I just want to talk you through these uh, links at the top here. So if you click on home, this will take you to the very, uh, to the general stream. So this is like the front page of, the, of Facebook. You'll find that it's quite similar to Facebook if you're familiar with it, but a lot um, more cut down and, and basic. It doesn't have all the whistles and bells that Facebook has, and, for, and that's, in a way that's a little bit better for our purposes because we don't need all of those extra features. You can have chats, so you can specifically speak to a particular person if you would like to, um, to ask a particular question of a particular person, but I would encourage you to do all of your... Um, question asking and discussing in the open group, uh, unless it's something you want to keep particularly private, because your question, um, even though it might seem very uh, small question, very simple question, it may well be something that everyone else is thinking and wondering about at the same time. And by asking the question in the group, we can answer it once, and then everyone can move on, rather than we uh, having to answer the same question many, many times. So here you can see these are all of the groups that I, I'm a member of. You will, may only be a member of one group. Um, this is how you access the group if you come in through the main entryway. Um, you'll go here and click on Managing and Organisations. Now the Pages app is part of that extended um, possibility that you can take advantage of if you wish to pay um, for the additional modules. So I haven't made any pages and I'm not planning on doing that. It's a, really a part of the, the wider um, MeWe universe. And the events is like a, your own calendar that you can use if you choose to or not. So let's go to our group now. And you can see that the best way to know that you're posting to the group is look for the umbrellas. I've used umbrellas as a bit of a theme. I, they look like a great thing to collect. So the umbrellas are there to remind you that you are in the Managing and Organising Collections group. If you are on the home page, you can see that you can like do a status update, and this is totally fine. You can you're very free, of course, to enter in here. But if you're asking a question or making a comment to our managing uh, and planning collections group, please don't do it here on this front page because if you do that, it's only your contacts that will see this message. And you may be connected with all of the people in our group, but not necessarily. Whereas if you do your uh, post your question in the group page, then the entire group will definitely see it. So always make sure when you're adding uh, for this unit, Managing and Organising Collections, the umbrellas are up the top. Some of you are also studying uh, inquiry learning with me at the same time this semester, and we've also got a group. So when you're writing about inquiry learning, please look for the thumbprints um, at the top. And if you're doing uh, managing and organising collections, please look for the umbrellas. And that's just the easy way to know that you're posting to the correct group. When you do post to a group, it's very, very simple. You just click on post to this group and you type in your message. You can add an image or a file or a video or a GIF, just in the same way as you can on most social media sites. You can add a voice recording and a poll. That could be interesting as we go further on. The most important thing is this over here, the hashtag. So if you've used Google+, Plus, you'll remember that it used to be able to separate uh, the posts into different pages so that all of the questions and discussion about a particular topic, say assignment one, were arranged on one particular page. And you could go to that page and just see all the posts that were relating to that topic and not the rest of them, which made it really handy when you didn't have much time and you knew that you wanted to go in and ask a question or read answers relating to that particular topic. So the hashtags here achieve the same purpose. So I'm going to add in here Remember to use your hashtag when you are posting in MeWe so we can all find the relevant information quickly. Now, I'm going to click on the hashtag here. You don't have to do it this way. You can just type manually type in hashtag. And I'm going to create a new tag, and I'm going to call it 
advice. And you can see that, here we go, if I click on that, hashtag advice comes up, and there it is there. So now when I go to post this, um, you can see that in the tags section, if I click over here, there are posts with the um, hashtag advice and posts with the hashtag introductions. So if I just want to look at the introductions that I'm asking you all to post, um, a quick brief bio of yourself, just so that we can all get to know each other and attach the hashtag introductions. If I don't want to read through all of the posts, I click on just that hashtag and it will bring up just those conversations that are in role, uh, involved with that particular one. So as the semester goes on, you will see how if we put in hashtags like um, assignment one, uh, tech queue for technical, technical questions about different tools that you might have, assignment two, then when you go to this tag section over here and you click on that, only those entries will apply and it will make it a lot easier for us to navigate because this general stream is going to get very long, I assume. Now you can click here on members and see who is already has already signed up um, and everyone will be uh, listed there. You can see that some people have chosen to use, um, I've got a photo, some people have got a little um, emoji, some people have got a little cartoon. It's completely up to you how, whether you choose to have your, a photograph of yourself or whether you have something that's a little less identifiable. Sometimes it's nice to be able to see who you're talking to and you know then if you see them in a conference setting or something like that you recognize them but other times it's it's cool to have you know something that retains a little bit of that privacy. So it's completely up to you how you um, choose to sign up with that information. Uh, here is where we'll share photos and videos. I can't imagine that there'll be a great deal of them but if there are especially perhaps if you've used a screen capture to ask a question or to explain something, when you attach it in a post, it will automatically appear here as well. So you can just quickly scroll through if you know that there was a particular video or something that you needed to see. We can also upload files if you want to share a particular file. I will um, most probably share up here the um, files for the assignments and things like that. We probably won't use events, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. And the settings, you'll have a, a fairly limited array, array of settings there because as um, contributors to the group. Um, and you can also search the group, which is it will be a useful feature as we go along. So you can see that it's basically uh, has got a lot of the similar functionality to some of the other social media networks that you're familiar with. Um, but just slightly different layout, slightly different way to go about doing things. One thing that I really like about MeWe is that it has a desktop app, but it also has mobile apps. So you can get this on your phone or your tablet or any other device that you use, Android or iPhone. Um, the mobile apps are very stripped back. They're very, very basic. So what I find, it's, it's really great um, if I'm out and about and I... Um, I can look at my phone and see if someone's asked a question or made a comment and catch up quickly. But if I want to spend a little bit of time, if I have a particular post that I want to make or something like that, it's actually a lot easier to use the desktop app on your computer. So you're more than welcome to use both, of course, but you might find that if you're getting a little bit frustrated with the phone or the, and the mobile app, um, that you might find that it's easier to achieve what you want to with the desktop app. So just a little bit of advice there. And um, basically, oh, that's the other thing is that you can enable desktop notifications. That's completely up to you. And the same with on the mobile. I find for this type of app, um, app it is handy to have the notifications set up because then when someone does make a post, it pops up and you can and you're sort of alerted to that fact. Um, especially if you're waiting for an answer, if you've asked a question about something and you're waiting for people to respond, um, it can be really handy. But again, that's also a decision that, that's up to you. And um, I would in, uh, ask you also, you more than welcome, of course, to invite your friends to use MeWe, but please don't invite your friends to this particular group unless they're actually enrolled in the unit uh, this semester because we're keeping this group closed just to uh, the students so that we can all feel confident in asking questions 
um, you know, making, uh, saying things that we think, you know, I'm not sure this might sound a bit silly. Um, and nothing is ever silly. Please ask the question, but please do so probably first through the MeWe app before you contact me, unless, of course, it's something private and something just that between you and I, uh, because your question is most probably something that everyone else is wondering as well. And we can all, you know, join in and support each other in this connected community. And I really feel that that's how we'll get the most out of this unit, especially because everyone who's in the unit is studying externally and it can get a little bit lonely when you're all by yourself. So we can develop a little bit of a support network with each other using this app. Okay, have fun and looking forward to learning with you this semester.